Hey, welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel, all the way over here in 9 now, verses 3 through 14. So what a read that is. Let's go to it. Now the donkeys of Kish, Saul's father, were lost, and Kish said to his son Saul, Please take one of the servants with you and arise and go and look for the donkeys. So he passed through the mountains of Ephraim and through the land of Shalisha, but they did not find them. Then they passed through the land of Shaalim, and they were not there. Then he passed through the land of the Benjamites, but they did not find them. When they had come to the land of Zuf, Saul said to his servant who was with him, Come, let us return, lest my father cease caring about the donkeys and become worried about us. And he said to him, Look now, there is in this city a man of God, and he is an honorable man. All that he says surely comes to pass, so let us go there. Perhaps he can show us the way that we should go. Then Saul said to his servant, But look, if we go, what shall we bring the man? For the bread in our vessels is all gone, and there is no present to bring to the man of God. What do we have? And the servant answered Saul again and said, Look, I have here at hand one-fourth of a shekel of silver. I will give that to the man of God to tell us our way. Formerly in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, he spoke thus, Come, let us go to the seer. For he who is now called a prophet was formerly called a seer. Then Saul said to his servant, Well said, Come, let us go. So they went to the city where the man of God was. As they went up the hill of the city, they met some young women going out to draw water and said to them, Is the seer here? And they answered them and said, Yes, there he is, just ahead of you. Hurry now, for today he came to this city because there is a sacrifice of the people today on the high place. As soon as you come into the city, you will surely find him before he goes up to the high place to eat. For the people will not eat until he comes because he must bless the sacrifice. Afterward, those who are invited will eat. Now, therefore, go up, for about this time you will find him. So, a long stretch here today, not a lot of commentary on it, just to say that, isn't it interesting that the donkeys went missing and Saul uh, manages to come to this place where he's, God is bringing him up into connection with his servant Samuel? Why, uh, total coincidence, eh? Yeah, not, not really. We're going to see what happens as Saul and his servant and Samuel come together. But divine providence is operating right here. And by the way, thinking about you and I and how we might look at this, does divine providence operate for you? I believe it usually does. God is working. He's on his throne. And he's always looking for agents that he can use, people who are in tune with him, people who are on his wavelength. He can unite with other people. He can bring them together. Why, just uh, in prayer meeting a few hours ago, uh, one of our church members uh, pointed out how she was sitting. She likes to usually eat lunch alone. It's just her way. Uh, one of the co-workers came up and said, hey, can I sit with you? She she began to ask her questions about her religion. And uh, she said, do you want, would you like Bible studies after they talked? And she said, yes. So now there's Bible studies going on. A divine appointment right there. Providence. Providence working. God is on his throne. So let's see what happens tomorrow morning with Saul and Samuel when they meet. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, please keep making divine appointments for us. You have a plan. You have a big plan. Our part, Lord, is to be receptive to your leadings and your guidings. So please, Lord, make appointments for us. You've made an appointment, I believe, with Saul and Samuel. You are at work today just as verily as you were back then. Thank you for hearing our prayer. We give thanks to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, we can be thankful that God is on his throne and he is making divine appointments. He will make divine appointments for you and for me today if we just ask and if we are keeping our thoughts and heart tuned heavenward. We'll see the working of the God of Israel. God be with you today in all that you do.